All right, today I'm gonna do something a little bit different than I normally do when I uh, fly my drone. By popular demand, I am going to actually speak and kind of give a description of what's going on. And by popular demand, I mean Ida bugged me and said that I should actually do it this way. I personally didn't want to expose the world to my nasally voice, but uh, hey, what the hell? Let me try it anyway. Anyway, I'm flying over the uh, Lemoor Golf Course in Lemoor, California. Um, I'm flying about 29 miles an hour, 28, 29 miles an hour, somewhere around there. And um, flying at about 400 feet. So um, I'm heading towards uh, the uh, Lemoore High School, and uh, which is about uh, 1.2 miles out or away from me. So um, these things, uh, these drones can... Uh, get out there pretty fast uh, I'm flying the DJI Mavic Mini and I'm going in sport mode which is actually uh, pretty cool it's, it's the uh, fast fastest mode um, one thing really nice about this this drone is that it has a three-axis gimbal which allows it to be really smooth when you're when you're flying it at, at the faster speeds Unlike my uh, DJI Spark, which uh, only had a two-axis gimbal, and if I'm going at the fastest speeds in, in sport mode, you can see that every movement is like really, really um, uh, choppy. You know, it's 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 not very smooth, and you can actually see the propellers kind of turning at the top because it dips down like that when when you fly it in the sport mode. I'm going to uh, continuing on towards uh, uh, Lamar High School. You can see a little baseball diamonds down there. Um, at some point, I'm going to lose the picture, the stream that comes to my phone, and it's going to switch into a return to home mode. And what happens is that at some point, I, I get out too far, and you actually lose the uh, the uh, remote control connection to the drone. And once the drone senses that, it um, it clicks into, or it'll give you a countdown, and you can override it. But in this case, I'm not. And see, right now where it kind of stops and just kind of sits there for a while, it means that there's no connection. Anyway, it switches it to the automatic mode, and it's uh, to return to home mode. It gives me a little countdown. This is um, it's gonna go down into a. Uh, go to remote uh, return to home in so many seconds and I can override it if I want um, but because I lose the stream and I really don't I don't have any remote control connection I'm not overriding it actually if you if you if you lose a remote control connection it'll go into the fail safe mode and automatically do it it'll just give you a countdown if you still have remote control connection and it's like really weak then it'll give you a countdown and you can actually override the countdown, you know, if you lose the stream. Um, but in this case, I just lost complete control and it was just by itself and it stops and then just did that on its own. So at some point, and I believe around this point here, I'm pretty sure I can, the, it, it clicks back in where now I can override it and uh, go into uh, the regular mode and just fly it back home on my own, but it's going in the direction that I want it to go into I'm just gonna go ahead and let it do what it what it's doing and and continue on um, I don't think it's ever it's really a good idea to get too comfortable with the uh, um, Return to home mode if at all possible if you still have remote control connection um, there's a map and it has like a line where you can turn your drone around and just follow the line all the way back to your house and 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 you, you're doing that on your own and you don't have to, you're not using the uh, automatic modes so I think it's always a good idea to, to uh, learn how to do it manually the felt safes are, are good to have but it's always good to uh, be able to manually take yourself <laughs> to back home anyway I'm heading back towards the house. 
um, if you you know you can see it's a, it's a really nice area um, I'm, I've been watching YouTube videos kind of giving me an idea how to use the, the, the camera better so um, you can see it's a little um, a little hazy off in the distance that's because the Sun is located is like right over there and it's like really bright and I I put the um, the what is it the I don't know what the heck these things are called but I put the it's like the 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 the, the white motor whatever I don't know. anyway it's where if the Sun is too bright and, and your picture comes out too white looking um, and I, I set it down to um, uh, uh, negative 0.7 I believe um, that way it's it, it kind of darkens everything up and then uh, that way not really darkens it up but it just makes it to where the exposure doesn't come out looking all all too white and hazy anyway kind of sped it up a little bit took a nice little uh, cut into the video um, because right now I'm heading towards the uh, Kelly Slater, Slater Surf Ranch, which is a uh, it's a wave pool out in the middle of nowhere, and uh, they do like surf competitions here. Um, I'm not into surfing, and so I kind of had to Google who Kelly Slater is to uh, you know kind of give an idea of what's going on here. And apparently he's a champion uh, surfer, and uh, I don't know how he how he decided to put this thing up here in a moor. I don't know if he just closed his eyes and pointed his finger at a map, and voila, there you are. You're in, you know you're in the moor, but um, anyway, it's out in the middle of nowhere, and it's it's um they do have competitions. They they're actually on TV, and you can actually look watch them where uh and when they do that they have like live music and you can buy a ticket it's kind of expensive i think to do that um, um i've never actually done it i could hear them from you know the music it's the, i can kind of hear what's going on from from the house here you, just, you know to see all the lights and stuff you know um Anyway, they do have competitions there. Supposedly, they're going to open it up to the public more often. That's kind of a thing that's supposed to be going on, but it really hasn't happened yet. Um, but when they do have the competitions, they do open it up to the public. They put the, the, the tickets on sale, and you can go out there and, and, and buy a ticket and you know get to watch a professional surfing. Anyway... Uh, my battery's kind of getting low on me, and uh, it just kind of gave me a, a battery low alert. alert. So I'm going to head home because, well, I don't want my drone to uh, fall out of the sky. Well, actually, it won't do that. It'll just, if it gets too low, it'll actually land on its own. But still, if it lands on its own, it's like in the middle of, you know, somebody's farmland. And, you know, I really don't want to get, you know, rock rock sock in my butt as I'm climbing over someone's fence to uh, retrieve my drone. Well, there's a dairy that I'm passing over. You can kind of see the little cows running around there, but I'm kind of high. But but yeah, it's a dairy. There's a lot of that here in, uh, in this area. And more farmland. So, but yeah, you can see, you can see in my neighborhood, um, over to the left, that big water thing over there. That's a water treatment plant. And, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, I like the area. The, you know, I'm, I'm, the fact that I, I moved over here and I do like the idea that I can just fly my drone out of my backyard and uh, I don't have to worry about flying over somebody's house. I don't hear anybody bitching about it. Everybody, you know, I guess today it's like everybody wants to nag about something. You know, but I can just fly it out in my backyard and fly around the golf course if I want. And, uh, you know, it's like perfect for me. So, anyway, I just, I'm, I'm a big uh, drone enthusiast and eventually I'm gonna move up to one of the bigger, more expensive drones. You know, Ida doesn't know that, but yet, she hadn't heard that one yet, but eventually. Anyway, that's uh, 
my video and here's a little picture of, of where I went. So, all right, goodbye.